Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. So on my Linux switching video, I had a ton of comments. Many of them being really great suggestions about what programs I should try to replace some of the Windows programs that I am still using. So today I'm gonna test FreeCAD against Fusion 360 and see if it is a viable option for me. So what I will be looking at is, does FreeCAD offer all the functionality and ease of use that I have from Fusion 360, which I can't live without? Like, I don't care if it doesn't have some advanced features that I never used before on Fusion either, but what I want is a solid CAD program that is just super easy to use and I can quickly make complex CAD models, export them as SDL or use some path functions and create some g-code for my CNC. And I have tried FreeCAD before, but back then I really didn't pay too much attention to it. I just saw, oh it has a complicated interface, you can do some stuff, but I have no clue how. So this time was going to be different, so I watched some tutorials and I really under tried to understand how the system works. And I was able to create just some normal uh, CAD files and I can't say that I'm as good as in Fusion 360 but I'm good enough to understand how the workflow in it is. And I do have to say that I hugely underestimated it. It has a crap ton of features and in some regards has almost more features than Fusion while it is missing some minor other features. But let's back up for a second. Both of these programs are completely free to use. In the case of FreeCAD, it is open source, so it's gonna be free forever. Whereas in the case of Fusion 360, it is from a major company, Autodesk, and it is subscription-based. As of now, you can either have a free education license if you go to college, or you can have a free hobbyist license if you make less than 100,000 bucks a year with the software which probably is most of you. But that license is only valid for one year and then you have to renew it. So Autodesk could at any point say that you're not gonna do that anymore and then your license is just valid till that year is over and then you either have to pay for a fusion or a switch. So you kind of at the mercy of Autodesk there, whereas with FreeCAD you can be sure that it's always free. You're also at the mercy of Autodesk in a different regard because Fusion saves all its design files in the cloud. So all the, your files won't be saved locally on your computer, but instead is, are gonna be uploaded to the Autodesk cloud. And that has the really handy feature that where you can just switch between computers and all your files are always there. But it also means that your files are not locally safe, but on the cloud and you're again kind of at the mercy of Autodesk. You can download them, but the workflow isn't in a way where you would do that normally. Whereas in FreeCAD, you own all the files, they're all, all on your computer and there's no cloud involved at all. So, so far, FreeCAD sounds like an amazing choice. The only thing is that even the developers of FreeCAD are saying that their software isn't production ready. And I can only agree with that. If you just want to make some simple parts, it is usable, it works but there are a lot of bugs, a lot of just random crashes and just little features missing. And they call it still a beta and it really is kind of a beta. Fusion 360 on the other hand is from a big cat and cam giant Autodesk. They know what they're doing. They have many, many different CAD programs. And so Fusion 360 is just a lot more polished. It works a lot better. It is a lot easier to use and it just integrates very well all the different features of it. That's just kind of a problem that you have with open source versus closed source programs in general. In open source programs, especially huge ones like FreeCAD, there are a dozen different workspaces inside of FreeCAD where you can do everything from 3D rendering to modeling to CAM to mesh to everything you could ever imagine, but 
just the coherency of everything is kind of lacking because there are probably different developers working on different stuff and it's not, not quite as unified. Also a lot of like comfort features are missing. Like just a simple example, if you want to move an object, you have to manually type in the X, Y and Z values that you want to move it by. Whereas in Fusion 360, you can either type them in manually or you can pull on little handles or you can move it freely. You just have a lot more comfort options. In the end, you can create the same model with both programs and it's going to be equally as good. The only thing is that it's a bit easier in Fusion and it also takes a lot less time. So if you are on Linux and you really want to just use a CAD program on Linux, then FreeCAD is amazing. Two thumbs up. It may not be production yet, ready yet, but just for hobbyist use, it's perfectly fine. But if you like me and you already know Fusion 360 and you like it for its ease of use and simplicity, and I work on it on my laptop and on my desktop, so the cloud is something that I really like. Whereas you might not like the cloud and that might be a reason why you don't want to use Fusion. For me, it's probably not going to replace Fusion. Especially since also the, ca the CAM side, creating toolpaths, is just not quite as advanced yet. I'm sure they're going to are working on that as I'm speaking and it's going to get better and better. So maybe if they ever reach 1.0 status at FreeCAD, I'm going to revisit it. But for now, I'm probably going to stick with Fusion 360 from my personal application and they are also working on a completely browser-based version of it. I've checked out the beta and in another couple of months or like a year or so I'm sure that this will have all the features that the desktop version has and the browser version of course will also be available on Linux. So I'm really looking forward to that and that's just kind of another reason then you can even go on a school computer, just fire up the browser version and work there. So if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you want to see more comparison videos like this one, where I compare open source programs with closed source programs, I might do one on Premiere Pro versus some of the alternative Linux video editors, then leave a comment down below and I will certainly do those comparison videos. So. That's it for me now, thanks for watching and until next time.